Brad Borland, COO of Arcuto, is joining me now. Good morning and welcome to the NYC. Good morning, thank you. Pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure to have you. So why do you think Viking has been the fastest growing cruise line? I really think it could be uh, attributed to Tor and his visionary approach to uh, cruising. Uh, in fact, my first uh, opportunity to cruise was on the Viking Mimir, and uh, it just, you, you really get that sense of uh, ownership and pride that the uh, that all of the staff and team members on board feel, and I think that just translates over to a, a great experience, focus on intellectual curiosity and really experiencing the, de the destinations in unique ways. It's all about the destination, right? Well, it's also about that journey, and they make it so luxurious, so wonderful with their staff, and so that's also, I think, a contributing factor. But let's talk about your company for a minute. It has over 1,800 businesses. Talk to me about the solutions that you offer. Certainly. Well, we partner with the best brands in the world, and we have by far the best advisors in all of the world. So we operate in uh, over 100 countries, and uh, we bring solutions that are unique, the curated experiences for the traveler, and uh, you know, the, you know, the the just an opportunity to experience the world in a whole new way, with a respect for the local cultures, learning about the destinations, and just really uniquely tailored to the traveler's uh, perspectives. It's all about our advisors. They're the best in the world. They're the experts in the traveler, and they make sure that every experience uh, reflects that. Would you say that that's what sets your company apart from its competitors? Yes, ma'am, definitely. I think it's, it, it is all about the advisors and the partners. They are the best in the business. And by working with the best, uh, we're able to provide uh, the most unique experiences for travelers in the world. And what would you say are top of mind, top priorities for 2024? How do you continue to be innovative and ahead of the curve to continue to be ahead of your competitors? Well, I think a big part of that is just continuing to grow throughout the world. Uh, we now operate in 10 different regions all over the world, serving outbound travelers from everywhere from the Middle East to the States, and continuing to do it in a very regionally relevant way, bring the, the luxury virtuoso experience, but in a way that's very uh, relevant to the traveler and where they're from. Um, additionally, I think we continue to focus heavily on sustainability, and uh, that's why partners like Viking are so big for us, uh, where they have that focus on how we can uh, how we can experience the world but have as little impact on it as, as possible so that we preserve cultures, we pres preserve the environment, and uh, help drive the economic growth of many of the destinations that we go. And speaking of the economic growth, I want to talk to you about that. What do you think this IPO is going to do for the overall cruise sector? Well, I think it's great. I think it uh, continues to shine a light on what's such an amazing uh, part of the travel business. Uh, it continues to uh, offer more solutions, uh, unique destinations, and, uh, and, and amazing travel experiences. I think operating at the luxury leisure end the way uh, Viking does uh, just continues to drive that part of the market. When it comes to the overall travel experience, talk to me about some of the trends that you are seeing when it comes to travelers' wants, needs, priorities. Are you seeing a shift in what they're asking for amid inflation and just the economic landscape that we're currently in? Well, right now, I think that, uh, you know, with the markets generally still very strong um, and economy is doing relatively well, uh, we haven't seen a whole lot of pullback there. Actually, we, we continue to see growth. I think people. You know, nothing uh, motivates you like having something taken away. And I think the pandemic really uh, caused us to, you know, caused travelers to uh, appreciate the opportunity to see the world. Uh, additionally, I think that um, it's led to longer trips, slowing down just a little bit, multi-generational. I mean, this is the first time in history that four, even five generations are traveling together. So um, it's just a really exciting time. Thank you so much for joining me today. A very exciting time, and I'll let you continue the celebration. Wonderful. Thank you.